Good evening. My name is Jorge Suarez. I couldn't refuse the invitation of my dear friend Polo, a great chef, which is really one of the best in town. I am delighted to be here tonight. I am a physician. One hour ago I was working and I say quinoa time and I just run. So I'm here now. Why, why do I have interest in this? Because first, I cannot miss the opportunity to talk about health and about nutrition. Quinoa, uh, in English, in Spanish, is quinoa. It comes from Bolivia, South America. Uh, this is a great grain that we have uh, for thousands of years in uh, some regions in Peru and Bolivia that uh, has a particular uh, uh, characteristics on the, on the weather, the sea, actually the, the best quinoa is in Potosí, which is around uh, 12,500 feet above sea level, uh, 3,800 uh, meters above sea level. It has a peculiar uh, condition in the area there. It's called Lipin's um, uh, Salad, and they produce the quinoa for thousands of years, and of course, uh, it's, it's one of the richest uh, grains now in these days that is uh, getting a little expensive, which is really what I'm concerned because this should be for everybody. And yeah, it is uh, very expensive, but it's the richest grain, it's the best food that it is, that I see at this moment. Uh, this is what we're going to do tonight. We have a quinoa, uh, which is the grain I'm talking about. This quinoa growth in the soil is very alkaline, like 7.1 or 8.5 pH. There is uh, a different kind of quinoa, probably hundreds of types of quinoa. What we're going to use is a white quinoa. There is another one that is called the quinoa uh, uh, golden grain is the name is uh, is actually the best which has has a more uh, a nutritious value this is actually can you show to them in the in the video there this the, the royal quinoa has like five or six times the size of the, the, the quinoa we're going to use tonight right it, yeah it's important that this has all the amino acids that we have to, to live. Uh, one of the important things in the, in the nutrition I want to convey here is the message. We need our cells in our body needs around 21 amino acids that are the essentials and non-essential amino acids. There are some amino acids that we have that need to be uh, ingested in, in meats, in food, because we don't produce them. We cannot combine them. Those are the essential amino acids, they are nine. And uh, it's so important to have in the nutrition the essential amino acids because we cannot survive or we will be really very sick with some amino acid uh, deficiency. And this way is my interest in the nutrition. There are also conditions in people that have some illness of the colon, illness of like, like gluten, allergies, intolerance, that they cannot eat normally the food that we all eat. So this is the, the drug, the medication that has also 
been used for some medicinal uh, use very successfully, and I think this is the best for many people that have no options to eat other than this uh, gluten free or allergic to egg, allergic to milk. So, this is what we're going to do. What are you going to mix today? Mm -hmm. Half a cup of quinoa, then we're going to add some wild arugula, and you can use a spinach, spring mix, whatever you like, you know, favorite dishes. Also, we're going to do some uh, red onion, a little bit, or if you like extra, you can put extra, you know. Uh, you can put the, this is for one, uh, for one portion, this is about half ounce, you know. Yes, you can, if you like onion, you can put more, if you don't like, put that, you know. Quinoa is, is very new in the United States, actually, in the, in the consumption. I mean, only 1% of the population eats quinoa here in the United States. Even though uh, we know we have a lot of quinoa in the supermarkets, in uh, Whole Foods, and Central Market, and all these Kroger's, they have a lot of quinoa. It's kind of expensive, but I think it's, it's one of the options. Also, uh, you are going to... You're going to use cucumber, you're going to put some tomatoes, some red bell pepper, chop. Some queso fresco, shredded. You can use uh, parmesan, you can use provolone, whatever kind of cheese you like. You put salt and pepper. If you like parsley, chop some chopped parsley. Okay. And we just put some, we're going to do some uh, extra virgin olive oil. You know, like extra, extra, like dry, you can put just lemon, that's why. I like it. Add some extra lemon. Half a piece of lemon. The juice. This is very easy to make in fast. You say healthy, you know? Very healthy, oh, very healthy. This is the best, really. Yes. How many salads do you prepare here of this, with this quinoa and this place, in this restaurant? Mm -hmm. Over a hundred of this, this person, right? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, you are going to prepare what, huh, by the Quinoa panacora. What is that? What is that? Can you explain to us, please? Quinoa panacora is an uh, Italian custard, and uh, it's very, very healthy. Very healthy dessert. It's very different between uh, cream brulee on uh, different kind of plants, because panacora doesn't have uh, eggs. It doesn't have cholesterol. It's completely healthy. Wonderful. This is free of eggs and uh, for people that have allergies to eggs, of course, it's, it's the first choice. How much of the quinoa we have here on this uh, panna cotta, huh? Okay, here we put a 50% quinoa. 50% quinoa and 50% and uh, milk, 2% and cream. Wonderful. I see this thing here, this is like collagen. 
this is also a very important uh, collagen for the skin. You know, the skin is made of collagen. And we have a lot of the structures in the body that are made of collagen. So this is an important ingredient of this. Uh, together with quinoa, it's a wonderful formula, wonderful combination. Very healthy, actually. Okay, so you're going to mix this. Tell me what you're going to do now. Huh? Okay, first of all, we start to heat it up, milk and cream. Don't let them boil, just heat it up a little bit. And then the next step is going to be, uh, we're going to put on cold water in the gelatin sheets that make it a little bit softer. Wonderful. I think everybody is excited about this. These guys are teaching us how to cook. The only thing I, I think we need is to demand from Polo the formula of this thing in a piece of paper. I think we have to have a, you know, a, a, some recipes that we can take home so we can prepare this at home, right? Wonderful. So you put flour there? No, this is a confection sugar. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So quinoa, again, is used for a lot of pasta. They use, like, they make, uh, like, like uh, uh, cakes and uh, this ice cream. So it's a perfect uh, ingredient for this uh, uh, cake that you're preparing right now. So we have, uh, you know, how many calories we have in this? Can you tell me, guess, how many calories? On each serving, we have about, like, uh, 600 calories. Wow. See how kind of, kind of, need to run maybe 600. But, but you, you can burn them in. A, we have a gym next door actually. Next door. Have you seen the gym next door? We can join. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, well, it's closed. You know, I apologize, but you know, it's my, my thing. You know, I, I, want, I want to tell you it's very healthy. It's the best, the best brand that it, there is in the world. And uh, every 100 grams of quinoa, you will have like 399 calories. Fat will give you 9 grams of uh, calories. I mean, 9 calories per gram. Uh, carbohydrate will give you like 4 or so. And this is really higher in energy. All the nutrients, vitamins, amino acids are here. And uh, so, okay, please show us what you're doing. And for a little bit of flavor, I like to use some uh, liquor. Today I'm going to use the grandmother baker. Everybody will. Oh my God. This is great. So you have to just turn it to a pretty flavor, huh? Thank you. Uh huh. Now we're going to cool it down over ice. So you're telling us your secrets right here. This is important. That we have all the secrets that you have. That's what we're here for coming. What is that? Mix it up a little bit of whipped cream. Whipped cream. And now it's 200 calories. Confection sugar. Oh, confection sugar. And 100% uh, pure vanilla extract. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Wonderful. Yeah. Right. How many of these... Uh, and you here in, in Polos at this moment? Okay, here we make around like uh, 20 different kind of desserts. How many with quinoa, my friend? Quinoa is my fixation. When we quinoa, we make around like three different desserts with quinoa. Wonderful, wonderful. Excellent. Any questions you have in there? Please, any questions? The uh, first ingredients we hit it up that was <laughs> Perfect mix. You are mixing up and uh, then what do you do after that, huh? Okay, now I want to transfer on this pen. Okay, 
Your concern is calories. I think, yeah, everybody is concerned with the calories. I, I think we have to low, look into law. It's beautiful. Look, look at that. Bravo, bravo. But uh, we can make some modification. And I hear Polo is to explain to us and give, give a big uh, applause to Polo because he is the one that is. No calories. No calories.